Fox News Update. I'm John Scott on Facebook. Watch live from our world headquarters in New York. President Trump calling out Brett Kavanaugh's accuser by name and once again defending his Supreme Court pick. This as the Senate Judiciary Committee's deadline got pushed to the end of the day for Christine Blasey Ford's lawyers to decide when, how and if she'll testify. Ford says Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were both in high school. The Supreme Court nominee denies it. In one of his tweets, uh, tweets, President Trump wrote, if the alleged sexual assault was as bad as she says, she would have reported it to police. Ford told the Washington Post that she didn't tell anyone more than 30 years ago because she was terrified her parents would be mad because teenagers were drinking. Twitter reacting to the president's tweets with the hashtag, why I didn't report. At last check, there were more than 130,000 people writing about why they say they didn't report it to law enforcement when they were victimized. Attorney Nicole DeBoer joins us now. Nicole, Judge Kavanaugh says he is eager to testify about all of this in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. The question is, will she? You know, I, I certainly hope so. I think before this confirmation process ends, it would be beneficial to everybody involved for us to have entirely everything that she wants to say to this committee. So um, if she testifies, we'll have that opportunity. If she doesn't, we never will. But her side says they want her to tell her story first. I'm sorry, that, that Kavanaugh would go first and then she would follow up. Is that going to happen? You know, I wouldn't think so. That's certainly not the way that it works in criminal court. And I understand that this isn't criminal court, but this is a very serious criminal type allegation. And the reason that it doesn't work that way in criminal court is the people who are accused of something like this have the right to due process. That's who has the right to due process, the people who are accused. And it makes no sense for that person to have to testify before they even know what the details of the accusation even are. And that's why in criminal court, whatever case the government or the state wants to put, put on has to happen first. And then the defense can decide whether it even merits a response and what kind of response should be appropriate. Nicole DeBoard, thanks. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein reportedly suggested secretly recording President Trump and working to remove him from office. That's according to the New York Times, which cites unnamed sources. The paper reports this all went down in the spring of last year, shortly after Rosenstein got the job. The Times reports not only did Rosenstein suggest secretly recording the president of the United States, but he also considered asking cabinet members to invoke the 25th Amendment, which is how you remove a president from office for being unfit. The deputy attorney general denying the report, he says the New York Times story is inaccurate and factually incorrect. I will not further comment on a story based on anonymous sources who are obviously biased against the department and are advancing their own personal agenda. But let me be clear about this. Based on my personal dealings with the president, there is no basis to invoke the 25th Amendment. Rosenstein took over the Russia investigation after Attorney General Jeff Sessions recused himself. And earlier this year, the Washington Post reported that Sessions told the White House he might resign if President Trump fired Rosenstein. Check out Fox News for more on today's biggest stories on cable, satellite, radio, and right here on Facebook Watch, live or on demand.